Hey, I've got this Badger 31cc four-stroke walk-behind edger here for an unboxing and review. Go ahead and assemble this thing. All right, here's everything that came in the box. And so, here's the, the motor itself. And attached to it is one of the handlebars there. We're going to put this thing together. Here's the other one right there. And then... There's this one here that's the first that's the first bar that'll go down and then there's a stabilizing bar right here as well comes with some directions and then some wrenches and nuts and bolts on the parts that come with it got an arrow wrench and got a wrench down in here too got a 10 millimeter and an 8 millimeter okay step one of the directions has us attaching the throttle cable to the throttle there but it looks like it's already been done for us it's attached so the next thing I'm going to do is just start to assemble the handle and then this piece is just going to go right here fits right around there real nice and we'll sink some bolts down through that I'm going to go ahead and slide this through there okay I just tilted it on its side for right now just so you can see the hole going down through there and that square part fits right down through there now I'll flip it over and the washer will go on this side. And then we'll put this on there. There we go. Pop that down in there better. And I'll do the same thing for that side there too. Got those both on there now. Now we'll go ahead and attach the handle that the throttle is attached to. Same combo here. Yeah, got that one on there. Now what you want to do just kind of leave it loose because there's going to be another cross member bar that goes back through here so i'm just kind of leaving it loose but snug and then and when you're installing this this throttle piece and the other side too you can adjust it for height right here so i've got it to the highest setting right now we've got that other handle on there now what we're going to do is take this piece right here and it's going to slide right through that hole there on that side and then through this hole on this side too Okay, there's the bar, the bar we installed. And now we'll go ahead and put one of these on each end here. Okay, got that bar installed. Now we have a couple of these things, which is really nice. It's gonna keep that throttle cable out of the way for us. So you can kind of put them anywhere up along here, but one end's gonna go around here. And the other end's gonna go around the throttle cable. Okay, there's a look at it. It's just snap on there. So we'll do the same thing here. Just snap like that. There we go. Okay, we've now got the throttle cable all secured. I just kind of want to start showing you the features of some of this. So this is the on-off switch here. If you want to kill it, that's the kill switch. Once you get it started, there's the throttle right there. Okay, this is a four stroke, so it's gonna take non-mixed gas. It's gonna take regular unleaded gas, no mix. Look at the blade here. Look at that. Nice and thick. You got a height adjustment here as well. So you can just pop this out and adjust it. Just like that. I can even do it with one hand. It's kind of a spring assist there, you can see. It's going to give us our highest setting right here and then this is our lowest setting okay we'll go ahead and add 100 cc's of 10w30 engine oil in there okay now to check it i'm going to go ahead and run this thing all the way in run it all the way back out there we go okay looking real good on the oil level the gas is going to go right here Here's the fuel that I like to use. Okay, now for starting this thing, I'm gonna go ahead and see where it says run. That starts, that's your choke right there. Right under here is the primer. So we're gonna go ahead and push that. It tells you right there and do it seven times. So go for at least seven. There's seven. How about eight? So we're pushing fuel through there, which is nice. I'm glad they got the, the bulb that you can see through. Now what we'll do is we'll pull this 
once it starts just it turns over and starts running a little bit then we'll pop it down into run I will say this motor is very powerful and it's super easy to push around. I can just do it with one hand. Okay, now you want to turn it off, just hit this button right here. Okay, here's a little before and after. This is the before, and so I've got this edge along here I gotta freshen up. It's where the gravel meets the, uh, the grass there right along this retaining wall. So I'm gonna take that edger and just go all along here with it and clean up that edge, square it off real nice. And for starters, I'm getting this down to the, uh, starting with the lowest setting. Got our nice edge reestablished there. I like to put some fresh gravel in there. All right, you guys, thank you for watching.